exactly one year ago, my grandpa and his girlfriend were on the back of a moped in Vietnam. You heard that right. My 82-year-old grandpa and his 79-year-old girlfriend were zipping down the busy streets of Ho Chi Minh City as part of a month-long trip through Southeast Asia. Now, for those of you curious, my grandpa's dating life is relatively new. My grandma passed away a number of years ago after a 56-year-long marriage to my grandpa. We were all quite worried about him. And so it came as quite a surprise to learn that my grandpa had a girlfriend. He and his girlfriend, Barb, have spent the past three years golfing, exercising, traveling, just enjoying life. Every year, my grandpa and I have a tradition of going out to lunch, just the two of us. And every year he tells me, this is the happiest year of his life. My grandpa is my inspiration for how I want to live at 82, at 62, and right now at 28. He's also my inspiration for starting a business in the aging space to expand the ways that business and society think about growing older. This is a talk about reimagining aging and why you should build products and services for people over 65. And I'll do that by first explaining why aging is not what you think it is, where businesses are falling short, and what you can do about it. This concept of a long life is relatively new. For the vast majority of human history, life expectancy was under 40. Consider this. When the Social Security Act of 1935 was passed, giving financial benefits to retirees, life expectancy was 61. Now it is 79. And yet when the norm is still to retire at 60 or 65, retirement can be 20, sometimes 30 years long. 30 years, that's a long time. Some people have a misconception that long life comes at a trade-off with quality of life. But for many, that's simply not the case. In a cohort of 80 to 85 year olds, a study found three quarters had no physical health limitations. And I have more good news for you. Older people are generally happier. You might think that you're having a great time here at Stanford, but the chances are your happiness will peak in your 60s and 70s. And lastly, this concept of a retirement that we work for 40 continuous years and one day just stop forever is changing. People over 60 are entering the workforce in greater numbers than any other demographic. And that's a reflection of both their desire and ability to stay working and to stay engaged. Now, if I've painted this very rosy picture of what aging can look like, I'd like to tell you that businesses are falling short. If I were to ask you to build a product for an 82-year-old, what would you think of? Maybe you would think of a medication organizer. Maybe you would think of redesigning the walker. And it's true, some 82-year-olds certainly need these things, but not my grandpa. My grandpa wants a moped my grandpa shops at Nike. And yet when he comes home and turns on the TV, here are the ads that he sees. Part of the problem is that businesses view older people as this monolithic demographic, that the day you turn 65, you're now the same as everybody else with the same wants and the same needs. But the truth is that there is no universal experience of growing older. Everyone walks a unique path. And that's why building for people over 65 is the biggest overlooked business opportunity. 
to put some numbers behind that, every single day, 10,000 people turn 65. Older adults control over three quarters of wealth in the US and over half of consumer spending. And yet, only 10% of marketing dollars go towards them. And older people hate the way that they're marketed to. My grandpa needs unique products and services designed for this very specific phase of life that he is in. There are so many opportunities to capture both the minds and the wallets of older adults and help us all reimagine what the last 30 years of our lives can look like. If I've piqued your interest in the aging space, I want to highlight three areas of opportunity where we need more focus. The first is affording retirement. How do we finance a 100 year long lifespan? It requires a complete reimagination of the ways that we invest, save, and pay for the things like healthcare. 41% of Americans do not think that they will be able to retire comfortably. And existing government programs like Social Security and Medicare are just not enough. As an example, under Medicare, you're still required to pay for 20% of the cost of your care, which for many is unaffordable. We need people to create products that create financial security over the course of one's immense lifespan. The second area of opportunity is helping people age in place. 90% of people want to age in their own homes. And that's particularly true during this pandemic. But there are barriers. Think of your own home. Think of those sharp corners in your kitchen, the slick surfaces in your bathroom, those hard to turn doorknobs. There's an entire industry of home renovators who will come into your house, make it safer, more accessible for older bodies. Aging in place is not just about the physical safety of our homes. It's about finding social connection in our community, caring for our family caregivers, and bringing healthcare out of the hospital and into the home. Lastly, and most importantly, the biggest area of opportunity is helping people find purpose. Think of all the things that happen in the first 30 years of your life. You learn how to walk. You make your first friend. You go to school, graduate college, come here to Stanford. What happens in the last 30 years of your life? What are you doing and who are you doing it with? This is where we need strong consumer brands that evoke emotion and inspire. I hope that we will all be impacted by aging. We will age. Our loved ones will age. Our customers will age. That is my wish for all of you. So if you're an entrepreneur, build your business in the aging space. If you're working at a company, how might you expand your target market? And if there's an aging loved one in your life, talk to them. Ask them what their hopes and dreams are for this next chapter. There are so many opportunities to create impact in the aging space and help us all reimagine what the last 30 years of our lives can look like.